the ushers come forward for this morning's offering. During the offering, we're going to watch a video for Operation Christmas Child. Um, watch closely. This is a, a, a really powerful testimony. It's something that I think a lot of people can be a part of, even in this church body. But we're going to be praying for this uh, prayer request, the prayer guide in your Cypress hearts. This morning, we're going to pull that out and follow along. It's great. I'm going to read this on Sunday. It says, thank God for blessing Samaritan's Purse with more than 113 million Operation Christmas Child shoebox gifts since 1993. Pray that millions more children will experience the love of Jesus Christ through these simple gifts. There's a prayer request for every day this week. Just follow along this week and pray. It's a wonderful thing. We certainly need to be thankful to the Lord for wonderful ways to serve Him through Operation Christmas Child and many other ways. So let's pray. Father, we thank you for this wonderful day. We thank you for this time that we have to serve you and to worship you. Father, we pray for this message, this uh, message about serving you. The fact that, uh, that you, you saved us, Lord. By saving us, you've given us uh, your will that's you know, beforehand, before the foundation of the world. You can still the, the, the real gift of good works. And Father, we pray that we want to serve you. And we know that... Uh, it is not by any work that we can do that we're saved. Uh, there's just no way that we can do that. But it's only by your, the precious blood of Jesus Christ, uh, your will that it's done. Father, we thank you for Samaritan's Purse. We thank you for these 113 million boxes that have uh, been sent across the whole world with the gospel. We thank you for the children that have, uh, that have been saved through this work. Father, we pray for uh, this to continue on for years and years to come. Father, we thank you for this is Jessie Perry. Thank you for the wonderful work that she's done with this church for, for many years. Father, we lift, all, lift her up and, and Mr. Wilson Perry as they are uh, moving to Louisiana. We lift up all this in Jesus' name. Amen. People said, You make out any toys? How you do it? Man, I just do it. Don't you get tired? Don't you get bored? Oh, yeah, I get tired. Sometimes I get bored. But I've got a map on my wall with all the places I know my toys have gone. Now look at that. And just like that, I get a new rush, and I'm not tired anymore. Right. Looking through a woodworking magazine one day, I could order a kit to make 100 toys. I'll do that. See where that can go. And lo and behold, that ended up, those hundred toys ended up in Haiti. And at present, it's a uh, hundred and twelve, almost hundred and thirteen thousand. And I feel like that to use my hands in making toys for children is me that command of love to others. so small they can be fit in the corner of a shoebox. I've probably made somewhere around 80,000 plus of those. Operation Christmas Challenge just blows my mind as to how vast that is. Thousands of people that are involved and how the goodness of their heart and how the love of their heart that people put these together in a box. Just a simple shoebox the joy that they get when they receive these boxes and they receive the love is a big inspiration to me. The picture of that one little boy holding the toy and with the smile on his face and the brightness in his eye, a toy that I know that I put in that boy's hand through the work of Operation Christmas Child. It just fills me with a, a sense of purpose uh, that I have really enlightened and uh, feel the 
child with a joy that maybe that child hadn't had in a long time. When I got to 100,000, that was my goal. And when I reached that, well, what are you going to do now? Well, I might just work on another 100,000. And it's not a sacrifice on my part. It's a joy. And it's a love on my part. It's a labor of love, you might say. Yeah, that is amazing. You look at that guy and he's done all that and he still has all of his fingers. <laughs> you know? I've been around woodworking enough to know that that's a real trick right there, coming out with all your fingers. So. I wouldn't dare ask Miss Jessie to come up here. And I think she's already maybe gone to the back to wait for Oh, there she is. Uh, just for a second, though, I'm going to ask her, those of you who don't know her, could you stand up just that long so they'll know? Okay. For so those of you who are guests with us today, uh, Ms. Jesse is going to be moving. Uh, to Louisiana. Her husband is already there in a VA facility and uh, she's got a number of things she's going to be taking care of here and there. So you'll want to pray for them both. But uh, I wanted to read these notes from members of our church. Uh, Catherine Wilkinson uh, said, Jesse has been my friend and mentor for the 41 years I have been a member of Little Cypress she has comforted, encouraged, and by example, led me to grow as a teacher and a Christian. The best example of the love she has for is her love for her department. A quote, I love everyone in my department. I heard her say that this morning. And on the, uh, on the nights I cannot sleep, I remember each class by member and pray for each one by name. And so, uh, she wanted to share that. Also to say that uh, Miss Jessie was born in Maryville, Louisiana. For those of you who know where that is. Her mother and father were also members of this church. Uh, also her sister Janice. Uh, she has been married to Wilson for 68 years on the 16th of this month. Just coming up. Uh, she has been director of our senior adult area for at least 40 years. And you think about, you know when you're younger and you're director of that oldest group in the church and uh, uh, how that uh, blessed them to have someone who cared about them from even that time. First church secretary also worked uh, with the intermediate and junior classes. For those of you who weren't around in those days, that's in the children's department in uh, preteen area. And she has also worked as a volunteer uh, at the Orange Hospital for 34 years. So, um, we have a note here uh, from Joe Hudson. Um, Jesse Perry would always recognize and give credit to the person or class for excelling in attendance, reaching a missions offering goal, or any other accomplishment. Always encouraging, always lifting up the other person. Uh, she wasn't known to complain criticize or to express resentment. However, she did feel responsible for our adult woman department. Then he tells a story. Our men's Sunday school class has a table that's leaned up against the wall waiting for our class to start. And uh, it went missing for a couple of weeks. And she said, I'm going to see that you get your table back. And the next week it was back. And so practical things to make a person feel special, wanted and needed, and she'll be missed. Uh, and then uh, this one also, that comes from Epi Crawford. Uh, and going back to the years, I have so many wonderful memories of Wilson and Jesse. Sammy and I, her husband, that has also passed, or has passed, moved to the Little Cypress community in 1955. I was born in 1955. <laughs> And became members of Little Cypress Baptist Church. I'm in trouble now. Jesse's been a part of my life since that time. Our boys started school as first graders. 
We were able to work as room mothers, PTA members, booster club. We also sat through many, many hours of baseball, basketball, and of course football games. Does it sound any different than now? It doesn't sound much different at all. Now, Jesse and Wilson were always there. As I remember our good times at church, I could go on and on. She was active in our senior adult group for so many years. I recall back when my mother and my mother-in-law were part of her group and what a blessing she was to them and also to her own mother and aunt. We had such a good times. One of my fondest memories of Jesse and Wilson was helping us form a group that, we, that grew to be senior adults in 1995. We named ourselves the Retreads for the men and the Golden Oldies for the women. That became a standing joke between us because the women did not want to be known as Retreads. As I looked through my photo album this week, I was flooded with so many memories. One in particular was in 1996. Our group wanted to go see the Christmas program at First Baptist Church in Houston. And I stepped out in faith and got our tickets, but we did not have transportation except single cars and no money to rent a van. So Jesse said, let me talk to Wilson. Our problem was solved. We met at the church and Wilson and Jesse drove up in a big white van with orange police department <laughs> written all down the sides of the van. The van was going, yeah, I know about that. We were happy and all 19 senior adults loaded up and we were on our way to Houston. You cannot imagine the looks that we got on the interstate by people <laughs> passing us. And we just waved and smiled at them. I won't call any names, but there was a lady in the back seat of the van making funny faces and waving at all those who passed by. There are so many great memories, good times, and bad times, but I'm great, so grateful for Jesse and her faithfulness to the Lord through these many years. We love you. And so that is an expression that the whole church family would certainly like to share. We're going to ask Miss Jesse, when we have the prayer in a moment, to go ahead and get in her spot in the foyer. Those of you that would like to stay for the lunch, we encourage you to do so. Either way, you'll be able to go by speak a few words uh, of encouragement and support to her. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you uh, that you can call us and take us where we are. And we can blink our eyes and 40 years go by. You've allowed us to serve you, to work, to be a part of your kingdom, to love your people, to be an encouragement to them as Jesse has done. We ask, Lord God, that you would Continue to direct her as you have through these years. That you would bless her with the desires of her heart in Christ Jesus. Lord, that we would um, constantly be in touch and know how things are going and see her often. Lord, we thank you for Wilson's commitment of faith in Christ. Uh, recently, we pray, Lord, that uh, you would continue to help him in these days uh, to see improved health and circumstances. Lord, that you would guide them in choices of where to live and where to, to serve you and be. We would thank you for that. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Before, I'm sorry. Before we have our song, let me just say again that uh, we're not kidding about the number of sandwiches. So please feel free to stay. So I'll stand and sing the closing song, this commission song, Change My Heart, Oh God. Change my heart, oh God. 